In the fall of 2013, TDOT started a construction project to widen Concord Road from Sunset Road to Nolensville Road. Once the $13.5 million project is finished in the summer of 2016, Concord Road will have two lanes with a continuous turn lane and a 10-foot multi-purpose bike and walking path. The curve near the Mill Creek Bridge will also be straightened out, and new, larger bridges will be built over Mill Creek and Owl Creek. Due to the endangered Nashville crayfish living in the two creeks, there are seasonal restrictions on in-stream construction. TDOT biologist Dennis Crumby explains. It's going to have to be widened so that the bridge can be wider for more traffic. Um, so there's a restriction from October through May that we can't get in here and do that because that's the reproductive season of the crayfish. So that causes a little bit of problem for our contractor in that he has to phase that work in with the rest of his plan. Uh, but other than that, uh, getting in and doing the work is not really that difficult uh, to, to the species we come in during the right season. We will probably divert the flow in the creek away to the far side so that we're working in the dry part of the stream and we're not actually out there with a track hoe or a bulldozer actually disturbing and sending sediment down the creek. Uh, and we try to get in before the project starts and remove any of the crayfish that are right here in this area and release them into another part of the stream so that we're not directly affecting them. Eggs, then the females hang on to the eggs for a certain amount of time before releasing them out into the environment. So it covers that hole. It's, it's probably, you know, it's, it might be a little overprotective on each end, but you might have crayfish breeding at slightly different times in certain areas of the stream versus other or in the smaller creeks. And it's not just Mill Creek, it's, it's all the smaller streams that, that are under these same regulations. So any stream that we cross in the Mill Creek watershed, we have to do these considerations. It, I'd say 95% of the people have no idea that there's an endangered species even in Nashville or that it's a crayfish. And, and many of them probably have the same question you did, well, why is that important? Uh, but it's becoming more visible. I, uh, someone reminded me the other day that there are signs on some of the greenways that that point to the Mill Creek uh, having the natural crayfish in it. So there's an education aspect of it out there that's emerging. Uh, Nashville crayfish have basically survived the development of Nashville. Uh, the last 50, 60 years, all the industrial development in town and then what used to be agricultural out in the headwaters, uh, they've done well unless directly impacted. There have been a few releases over the years of, of certain chemicals that have gotten into the stream and killed out certain areas. Uh, and even those areas over time will recover. Um, but uh, overall, the species is doing quite well where, where it lives.